I think what they think and stuff like that. A lot of times, now this would be a good story. It'd be, it's sad while you're around, but when people find out you was good when you're gone, you know what I mean? They find out that you were good, a good woman or a good guy when you died, after you died, you know what I mean? Sad, but it's true. And you never got to tell that individual that, you know, you hated on them for none. You hated on them, you did them wrong. And you know, when it got to that breaking point, that same party that got them, that destroyed the individual that you thought was bad, they destroyed you. I'm talking about, they destroyed, I'm talking about they destroyed you. And then, when you try to talk to them and reason with them, they don't, they don't have time, I don't have time for that. They started treating you just like they treated Nardo. You know what I'm saying? Same. I'm talking about no, no different. They pushed you to the side. They don't have no time. Boasting. Boasting. The conceited. Pulling off. I'm talking about boom, 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 boom. Loud music. Recreational weed. Smoking your face and stuff like that. You know, it It took a minute. you like, like, maybe they just celebrate. You know what I mean? And then you find out it's not just a... It's not a celebration, it's a way of life, you know. It's not a celebration. It's gonna be like that every time you see them, you know. Sad, but it's true. Yeah. And then, you know, and usually they wait a while, you know what I'm saying? Just like Michael Jackson and, and, and Conrad Murray. You know? you know, they was calling Jack. Oh, don't pay any attention to Jacko, he's nuts. No, Jacko, he's nuts, man. He's a clown, you know. But you never knew that that guy was in there killing them, though. You know what I mean? You never would have known it. Or Andrea Yates, you know what I'm saying? You know those kids probably was telling people. You know Andrea's kids were different from everybody else. You already know it. Man, don't. You gotta be like, man, it's something weird going on. It's something weird going on at the Yates house, you know. Man. Some, some out there just ain't, ain't. It's not an Android phones. One of those phones ain't an Android, you know. Man. So a lot of times people be hoping and wishing, like, I need to get in here and mess that purchase up. You know, you got to get some kind of way. We got to do some type of fluke. You know, you might not believe me, like them, but yeah. People do depend on fluke moves. They, fluke moves make them, it make it makes the scandal continue. It gives them more time to continue stupidity and doing people wrong. Just yes, yesterday you said they learned their lesson. You said this thing about it. You've been saying that now for 20 years. Okay, they learned their lesson now, and they do the same thing the next day. And you know, and I'm gonna tell you how you can tell. At one time, women used to have a hair piece. They used to have a hair piece. It might be a bang. You know, it might be a piece of a ponytail. That's how they started it. You know? That's all they used to have. And when you seen it, you used to, you used to complain about it. Man, that, you don't need to be wearing no hair piece. You know what I'm saying? It used to be like one little trick. You know, and the mom and them like, uh-uh, that's, that is, uh-uh, that's like them people out there in Vegas and them party girls that don't have no manners and stuff. And that was 20 years ago. One trick, you know what I'm saying? One little piece of... One little piece, you know, and, and maybe it maybe look like a ruler or something, just like a piece of like a ruler. That's it. One little track, and everybody, I can't believe that she's a fake. She's a fake, man. You see what I'm saying? Now look at it 20 years later. I'm talking about a full-grown wig piece, a hell wig, and some of them have a hell cat. I'm not talking about a car that you order from AutoZone. Some of them got a hell wig and a hell cat. <laughs> Sad, but it's true, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm trying to tell you, if you don't correct the behavior, man, after a while, you ain't going to be able to control it. You're not going to be able to tell them, look, miss, you need to stop buying those wigs and stuff. Because nobody's going to appreciate you when you take it off. They're not going to appreciate who you really are since you're wearing wigs and costumes all the time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But when they do it that long, they don't even care. You know? they don't, they're not concerned. But somebody did tell me 
that they did a budget on the women that's really into lace fronts and, and full body wigs and stuff and eyelashes and stuff like that and silicone breast and liposuction man you would not believe how much these the average woman spend on stuff ladies and gentlemen that's not adding any value to your equity it's not taking anything off the principal balance of their student loan it's not putting any money in the bank ladies and gentlemen. i'm talking about things ladies and gentlemen. you gotta think about it. these are luxuries ladies and gentlemen. miscellaneous you know what i'm saying Man, you, you, man, you probably pass out, like, you know, you find out how much the average woman spent on stuff like that, like. And then they did a survey to find out they, their husband, he don't care if they had it or not, don't even matter. He, they said, they said it don't have no bearing on if they love them or not. You know what I'm saying? He said, said their husband don't love them no different, like, you know, if they didn't have the thing, you know, if they didn't go out and waste that money on that stuff. So a lot of times the husband gonna say she might be she might like her boss, you know what I'm saying? She might like the young guy out there at the job, because you know I, mean? I don't care if she have it on or not. You know? It don't turn me on no more or no less when she got a wig on or fake eyelashes and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times you see people, some communists from China, and Kim Jong Il he sells wigs, you know what I'm saying? It's not the United States that's selling. It's North Korea. <laughs> North Korea selling you wigs, man. They're selling you Hellcats and Hell wigs. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta ask yourself, man. At the end of the day, not only is it is it not helping your principal balance, it's not building any equity or any value in your savings account. You're sending it to North Korea. You know? Man. Who will buy a product from North Korea, lady? Like, not even North Koreans don't even know that. North Koreans don't even buy products from North Korea. Man. These are the things you gotta ask yourself, lady. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You know, they still be looking good and they still be looking beautiful. You know, and a lot of people think I know. I know the girls with the straight hair. They love. They love that they're doing it because, I, I mean, everybody else is running to them. Like, you know, their children, their young boys, and their husbands. They run into the other side. They run into them. Mm. I'm talking about they. They got them by a vi invisible leash. Come with me, with, without even saying come with me, because they got. They got the real stuff. You know, it ain't no faking to it. Uh, so a lot of times. A lot of the other uh, nationalities, they don't have no problem with those girls that wear that stuff. Because it's, cause it's more fun for them, you know what I mean? It's more fun for them when, you're, when your young man or your husband see that man, you don't have to buy this stuff. Some women are born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's L'Oreal, you know what I mean? Yeah, something like that, man. See what I mean? Uh, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I seen Richard down there. They really, they really got his panties in the wild, man. I'm trying to tell you, I ain't never seen a, a, a vice president of a bank in that much distress, ladies and gentlemen. I bet he wish he could click his heels, laying on that. I looked at Richard like, like, I bet you wish you could click your heels three. <laughs> I wish you could. He wishes he could click his heels three times and say, "I want to go. I want to go to another branch. I want to go to Vaughn. I want to go to, to Taylor. I want to go out the Wind Lakes branch." If he could click his heels three times and get away from there, I know he would. Man. And, uh, yeah, because they got him. They got him in between a nuclear bomb and a nuclear missile. Eh? He's in between a hard place and a harder place down there. Eh? <laughs> sad but it's true. Eh? Very sad and very unfortunate for Richard. It really is. Eh? 
Very sad and very unfortunate. Very sad. It's more sad than it's unfortunate. It's sadder than it is. The misfortune is is is, 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 is there's a lot of misfortune, but there's more sadness to it. It's a sad, it's a sad situation. No, it really is. I've seen it before when people strike like GM Motors they'll strike and the union you know the union is not really together they like Nancy Pelosi just out of nowhere she'll just say you know we're not going to take it but guess what these people got kids they got infants you know what I'm saying they got bills to pay they got car notes and out of nowhere I'm talking about you gotta think about it Everything really is going good. You might not believe it. It's going good. It's going fine. And out of nowhere, somebody got a bright idea like, uh, that don't have no light. It don't have no light with it. Uh, a bright idea with no light. And they say, let's go on a strike. And we're going we're gonna to demand different leadership. And, and we're going to demand better pay. It's definitely something to think about, even if you don't want to think about it. Definitely something to think about, lady. Yeah. I tell you. Boy, I tell you, I sure miss they got the Ango soft, baby. They got them angels soft. They got them family dollar tissue, boy. That shit, boy. They make that thing out of goddamn Brillo pads or something. I tell you. Lord have mercy. I see why it's only a dollar, you know what I'm saying? They must make that thing out of goddamn a goddamn skyward pad. You know what I'm <laughs> Sad but it's true, lady. Skywaring pad tissue, lady. Mm. Kwanzaa and William. I, I would not die, lady. I wouldn't die. Either. But at the, at this moment, I don't even care. So I went to school with them folks. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, you know, I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing lucratively wonderful, like you know. Even though my camouflage does not tell you that, man, I'm doing way better than a lot of people ever thought. The people people can't even dream of stuff like that, right? They can't even dream about it. They say, man, I had never thought in a million years that you would make it that far. And then you ain't really out there flooding. You, know, you ain't flooding or, or showing out or nothing. You, know, you, ain't, you ain't going out there trying to get you no Maserati and no you know, house and wind lakes just like, you know, stuff like that. Because everybody else is. Everybody else that know you, they saying that they know you and they can use your number. And look how they ride. You know what I'm saying? Look at the stuff that they say that they do for you, and they don't even, you don't even communicate with them. They just lie, you know. You know, but you know, Montgomery's a very, it's a very sassy town, lady. Like, you know? They don't give a damn if they stealing or not, lady. Like, you, know? you know, a lot of times people just say, whatever is clever, got now, got now. If I can get away with it, I'ma get away with it, mother. And that's how they live. Huh? If you catch them, cool. If you don't, cool. They don't even care. But you better believe they live by this. Oh, so a lot of people gonna get away. Only a few people gonna get caught. And they live by that. So therefore, most of them still, you know what I'm saying? Most of them still. They don't call it stealing though. You know what I'm saying? They call it being crafty. Like, they call it being witty. Very witty. How about a witness? You know what I'm saying? How about a whole lot of witty people call witnesses? Very smart, very clever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very witty. And, and really, when you say somebody's witty, they're a prankster. They tell a whole lot of lies. Everything they do is a lie. It's because it's based off of wit. I can outwit you. I can outsmart you. Don't mean that they're smart. It means that they line their ass off you know, about every damn thing. You, know, you, you have, They haven't told you the honest truth about anything since you've known them. And, and you just now finding out how much they done cheated your ass. Your whole life they cheated you, you know, because they're witty as hell to the point where when you turn it plural, they're witnesses. They just that damn witty lady. Some people are princesses. 
their witnesses. Like, damn, they're royal liars, you know? What I mean? uh, they so good at telling lies, man. They, they got a royal chain, of, a royal breed of liars. Uh, uh, very sad, but a very true. And that's the way it is. I, mean, so I bet a lot of time they get together and they, and they talk to each other and they can't even remember the last time they told the truth. You know what I mean? They probably can't even remember. Like, you know, they probably don't even know where to begin. Because like, you know? they probably been lying just that goddamn on. Uh, we don't even know where to start or begin or end. Everything's nothing but lies.